Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of the brand new 2024 Corterra 3.7 and to help me I have one of the manufacturer reps Matt here who's going to talk about this thing just a little bit. Yeah, hey guys Matt from Heartland. Really excited to show this new Corterra floor plan. But before we get into that I want to give you a little bit of backstory on Corterra. So core from Latin actually means heart and then terra comes from land. So that is Latin for Heartlands right there. So that's, that just kind of shows how much, how much thought and process that we put into this unit. Um, so this is our brand new 3.7 floor plan. So if we want to go ahead and pop inside really quick and kind of check out what makes this thing so unique. Yeah, start on the inside, work our way around the outside. It's usually how I like to run things. Awesome, let's do it. So again, it's the 2024 Corterra 3.7. This is going to be kind of like a, a hybrid mid bunk, mid office with a loft. And as you can see, this thing is absolutely beautiful. And I think Matt, one of, I know it sounds silly. One of my favorite things about this entire brand is the lighting structure and the, the honey brown decor. I just think it looks super sharp. I love it. I love it. It really pops, like you said. Uh, right now, the RV industry is kind of stark on the whites. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's nice adding color back in. It makes them look way more luxurious. For sure. And like you mentioned, those lights, they're beautiful. Um, not only is that functional, the lights, but it actually decreases the amount of holes in your ceiling. So it's it's just kind of that, that one piece look feel to it, which is, okay. which is fantastic. Yeah. I'm not yeah. much of a pinkies up guy, but I like the light. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this is a brand new floor plan for Corterra. So the first thing that I noticed and the first thing that my eyes are drawn to is this large U-shaped kitchen in the back here. So I wonder if you actually want to go back there. So not only do you have a ton of countertop space, but it's actually solid surface countertops too. So this is actually standard in our Corterra brand, not only in the kitchen, but in the in the bathroom Babe, as well. if you're watching, I love you. <laughs> um, you do have the, the oven down below as well as a three burner gas stove. And then you have the 30 inch microwave up top. So it's, you got all that, all the stuff that's necessary for camping. And then next to it, just to show off, you have a ton of storage over here too. So there is no wasted space in this, in this floor plan and in Corterra in general, every space is accounted for. So when you're traveling with kids or you're just traveling with, with a couple people, you know that you always have space to put stuff. Yeah, I like the fact that it's just all, it's just really open too. So when you walk in, you got the dual opposing slides. Obviously, the left one I would consider that super slide, you know, kind of area. And I'm six foot. I'm six foot two, or I'm six foot. This is about what six two, six three. Yeah, yeah, just over six. Three. How tall are you? You're pretty tall. I'm six five. So six five. Put yes. your head up on there. I want yeah, to see. So it. I, 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 I don't top. throw it off nearly as well. Oh, but wow. Yeah, yeah, we're there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you got you got a ton of space there. Like you said, you got those elevated ceilings and the slide outs. Um, and then back here, something that we did in our 3.0 floor plan that we're doing in our 3.7 as well, is you have this integrated coffee, bourbon, and wine rack up top. Oh, yeah. So it's, it's nice because you got that, that plug-in in for your coffee area. So if you want to plug in a Last Keurig. time I went home with one of these bad boys. <laughs> Heck, yeah. <laughs> Heck, yeah. And then next to it, a little bit different than our 3.0, we actually integrated some more storage on the side there. Cool. That's pretty deep too. Yeah, absolutely. So if you want to put your, your pantry needs in there, it's, it's accessible. That's about mid bowling bicep deep. <laughs> and then underneath it, you have all of these drawers too. So whether it's silverware, um, any type of utensils you want to put in there, you have all that, a spice rack, that kind of stuff. And then actually over here, I don't know if you were able to see this too, Hunter, but you have a ton of space underneath your sink there. Yeah, you got that little storage cubby over there too. Absolutely, yeah. So you got that deep storage that actually wraps around to the back there. You have the single basin uh, stainless steel sink there too with the residential style faucet. Love it, looks great. And then just a ton of more drawers here too. And then actually more deeper storage there on the side there too. So if you want to fit more of your pots and pans, it's accessible. Something that I like to point out too is that we do not do any of our vents in the floor. So all of our vents are actually going to be elevated vents. So that'll be for your furnace. So I've never gotten a comment about that. Uh, yeah, it's all, well, you got to think <laughs> you're, you're, you're dragging dirt in here. If you're sweeping up and it gets into those vents, it can get pretty. Oh, I know. Anytime there's a vent in the middle, I always hear it. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I bet. Um, entertainment area is massive. Like, like you had said, you have these opposing slides. You actually have three couches here. So it's great for entertaining. Um, but then also this couch over here does fold out into a... Uh, sleeping area too. So Sorry, if you're traveling, recliners with, here. Yep. Pull out here. And you were saying before this has the lumbar support. So correct. Yes, yeah, so you get the, the accent. You got it. Yep. So lumbar support there. Then you heat. Then these do recline. These recline as well. And then that one's going to be your pull out for there if you want to sleep some more kids with you. Always need that. 
Absolutely. You and know then, what my home situation is I like to tell people? What's that? I got four kids, three dogs, three cats, two guinea pigs, and a bearded dragon. Oh, yeah. So you need space. I need you the need space. space. Yeah, absolutely. This four point will work great for you. Um, <laughs> you do have the, the residential fireplace in there, too, so that does kick out heat as well. And then right above it, you're actually going to have a nice storage rack there to, to show off your stuff that does come with an outlet, too. So if you want to put anything that requires power there, you can. We are using smart TVs in all of our Corterra floor plans. Okay. So those have all the apps already built into them. And then up above, more storage. Like I had mentioned before, there is no wasted space. You got a ton of storage up there. There you go. Prepped for the old Wi-Fi, the 4G LTE. Correct, yep. So that's yep. always nice. Uh, sound system? Well, sound we got system, Bluetooth. Yeah. So it's a Bluetooth sound system, and okay. it's loud. It is. It's great. Uh, it works works super easy. You can connect it to your phone. You can connect it to your TV. Now, is that the what is the name of that? Do you happen to know? Is that the same one that like the Cedar Creeks and all that reason? I'm not sure off the top of my head, but yeah, I yeah think it looks yeah. like it. I think okay. it is. Um, and then yeah, if you actually want to go into the into the bunk room here, you can show that off. Sure do. All right, so right here you got another little slide out. You also have a couch that does pull out, so for additional sleeping again, and whether you have kids. You know, or if you just want to use this as kind of like a like a home office. If I didn't really have all the kids running around, I'd probably use this as a pretty badass little movie room. I think just sitting down in there, putting a TV, I think that'd be pretty nice. Absolutely. And that, that couch you're sitting on actually does fold out too. To yep. Another sleeping area. Extra sleeping. Got your fuse box back here. Plenty of outlets. Got a little place for some storage. I'd probably put a little DIY hanging rack right there, I think. And then as far as height is in here, again, I am six feet tall, so even though it does have the loft, they did find a way to make it tall enough so that way you're not feeling like overly cramped as well. I know a lot of these mid-bunks get like real tight on my yeah, head. Yeah, they do. They do. And especially when you have that loft over the top like you just mentioned. I like that. The floating yeah. steps there. More, more place to put your shoes. Some good storage there. Got yourself a little pull-out ladder. Yep, and then you do have the built-in loft at the top like you just mentioned. Great for kids. Kids love that. The max weight on that is 275 pounds, so... If you're not traveling with kids too, it's also great storage. If you sure. want to put your bags and stuff up there. Well, I could totally see someone using that office just to kind of separate it and using the above for storage. Absolutely. Then you got your controls right here, pretty straightforward. Uh, this is also the dimmer. Put it into a little movie theater mode so you can use that recliner and snuggle up with your honey bun. <laughs> yep, and then in the bathroom, you actually do have the solid surface countertops in the bathroom like I had mentioned before. Um, a lot of people are not using the solid surface, so they'll just use press countertops. So that's going to be a place that takes a lot of beating uh, while you're camping, while you're, while you're brushing your teeth, while you're using mouthwash. We want to make sure that that's going to hold up over oh time. My God. Yeah, I like the accent lighting here behind this mirror, too. Awesome, awesome. Looking sharp. Corner radius shower. Got the old porcelain foot flush throne. And then right here, too, on this wall, if you guys aren't familiar with it, this is the suburban on-demand hot water heater, so it's going to put out 60,000 BTUs of heat. So not only is it pretty instantaneous hot water, it'll also run as long as you have propane. So, you know, if you are someone like myself who has a kid that likes to take that 40-minute shower, you know, as long as you have propane, you'll be able to do that. So you don't have to worry about, you know, kind of having the, the two-minute kind of in and out like you might with some RVs for sure, especially when you start taking into account kids. This right here is going to be washer and dryer prepped, so it's a fairly large open area. But if you're not using it for more of like a, you know, extended extended season, you know, kind of your home away from home, maybe you're just a weekend warrior, you do have the ability just to put, you know, quite a bit of hanging clothes there too as well, which is pretty nice. But it's only going to be on a slide that runs from here all the way up to that front. And the front is probably my favorite thing on the Corterra, but dual entry. And now we'll head on into here. East to west slide bed. It's also got a pretty, I had to ask him, it's got a pretty fancy little mattress top here. This does come with the Corterra. So I think that is, you know, probably not the, the selling feature that'll close you, but I do think it's pretty darn neat. You also got a little bit of storage there over to the left with a couple cubbies. Store away your books. If you guys have seen my videos before, you know my wife just absolutely loves to read, and that is a perfect place for her to store uh, way more books than I would ever bring. But you know, she finished three this week. And I was pretty, uh, pretty impressed by that. You have a dresser right here with outlets. And then uh, also I didn't show you, but on the bed, there are outlets there, you know, on both sides as well. So if you do need to put, you know, a CPAP or anything like that, you're more than able to do it. Got the Dracula shade. So the old nightshade, keep some nosy eyes out, stop the old skin from sizzling. 
got your emergency exit, a place where you can mount a TV, as well as all the appropriate plugins. So are these all, can you 12 volt this? Is this through the solar? It is, yep. yep. Is that every outlet or just a Not couple? every outlet, so Not, it's, it's six to eight outlets. Six to eight outlets, so that's pretty nice. Yep. But then one of the things that I absolutely love is right up here in this front cap, not only do you get the, I believe the industries are close to the industry's largest viewing window, right? For, it is, yes, it's the it industry's is. largest, largest. So that's why I thought, you know, I've been in and out of these videos or are these RVs, I've never seen anything this large. So I just had to ask real quick, but the industry's largest viewing window, it's gonna be tinted, but you do get the ability to obviously create a little bit of privacy. Now, when we head out into the outside, I'm gonna leave this open. You cannot still really see in, you know, by any means, uh, but the ability just to kind of knock it out. I imagine just kind of laying down, you know, hopefully in somewhere nice. Maybe you get a good little mountain range view, lake, maybe even just sitting here getting a little bit of work done, you know, on the countertop while doing a little stargazing or daydreaming. Perfect little spot for that. You also have a great place where you can put in, you know, a hamper. Um, and then you noticed, you know, both sides are going to be the same, you know, as far as the hanging clothes abilities. And I like how there's another solar outlet back there, as well as a mini USB and USB port. Uh, the ACs, you got two ACs? Two ACs, One yep. 15K, one 13.5? Correct, yep, you got it, yep. And Perfect. then the Coleman Mach ACs. Yep. yep, and then right here, this is gonna be your dump valve. So if, um, you know, if you're not gonna be using the living room, you're coming in for night, and you wanna disproportionately push that cool air, you know, into the bedroom, uh, you just open this thing up, and it'll unevenly distribute the air back here, or you can close it and run it back through that track system. Awesome, man. You nailed it there. Yeah. If you guys actually want to pop outside, I can show, show some of these features out there. Yeah, we're yeah. doing pretty good this time. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Sweet. So as you can tell, as you're going down those steps, so you do have the Moride solid steps here. These are super easy to adjust to. Right now we're on solid ground. Yeah. So it's, it's actually set at the same height. But if you wanted to set these at different heights, if you're at a campsite where there's grass, you can easily just press this button in and oh, you yeah. can set those to different heights, which is awesome. And then, plus they're good for the old round bellies like myself, a lot more sturdy. <laughs> yeah, and exactly, and you have those four steps, and actually this step that's going into the coach is wider too. So not only is it more safe, but it's gonna be way more secure going down for the sure. road. Yep. Uh, something else that I like to point out too is our safety rail. So this is made by More Ride as well. The cool thing about this right now, it's, it's out for, for when you're actually camping, but it actually tucks away nice and easy. And then there's a magnet that'll hold that in place for when you're camping, but then when you're going down the road, there's actually a pin that'll secure it. Mm -hmm. And then when this is totally out, you're actually guided going into the coach the entire way. So that first step, you're actually able to be assisted going into the coach, which is fantastic. It's better than those old school grab handles. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, you do have six point auto level on this too. So that will be the Lippert ground control electric auto leveling. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bang. And then we got another one back there. Yep, you got it. And then actually over here, I do want to point out these tires because these are standard on Corterra. So for all of our Corterra fifth wheels, we are using Goodyear Endurance tires. So those are the American made beefier tires that come standard with Corterra. And who doesn't want a beefier tire? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and then just kind of panning to the whole coach here, um, you guys can notice that it has a, uh, the um, frameless windows on this too. Yep, frameless windows, massive awning. Now, if you're looking for the specifications, you know, in completion, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, all of that I will drop down in the description portion of this, along with a link for the pricing as well. I also have three minute tours uh, of these if you want kind of like a quick hitter, just kind of while you're shopping. Perfect, perfect. So something that differentiates the 3.7 as well is we have this extra storage on the outside. So not only do you have the storage on this side, but you actually have a built-in refrigerator here too, which is nice, because you can easily access your, your lemonade or whatever you're, you're, you're bringing with you. Fermented apple juice. Exactly, that's even better, that's even better. <laughs> um, something that's cool with Corterra that we do too, is actually in this, in this um, storage here, we can control our awning from outside. So you don't have to go inside the coach to bring the awning in. For whatever reason, if a big breeze comes up, it's, mm -hmm. it's easy to access. Um, and then also you're going to have your running lights up here too, so you can easily turn your running lights off. Yeah, plus it shows off some of that aluminum frame construction there, which is going to be welded at all points as well. Yes, sir. Yep, you nailed it. Battery disconnect, solar charge controller. What kind of solar do we have on top? Correct. Yeah, so we come standard with our Sol 190 program. Sol 190? So, okay. so you have 190 watts of solar up top, that 30 amp charge controller that you were just showing off. Perfect. And then you have an inverter prep. Inverter prep, okay. And then we do have an option for our Sol 380 that'll come with two 190 watts. 
uh, panel, so 380 watts of solar up top. You'll still have the 30 amp charge controller, and then that'll come with the 2000 watt. And then you're prepped for the tire link, which if you're not familiar with that, it's going to be a tire pressure monitoring system. Runs you, I don't, I, don't, I can't remember, but about 300 bucks or so, right? Yeah, if you buy yeah, it. Yeah. And then basically it'll let you know, uh, you know, what's going on you know, while you're driving down the road in terms of your uh, tire pressure. Yeah. So I, I know you'd mentioned it on the inside, but let's show off this front cap because it's awesome. Oh, yeah. So that's where I was talking about being tinted. You know, we're in here. You can kind of see the lights up in the front, but you do get some really great privacy. But as you're seeing out, you know, really easy to view out there. Absolutely. It looks, it looks gorgeous, too, going down the road. Yeah, I love, the, I love the way front the caps in the game. Looks. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks again, guys. Appreciate the time. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Drop a comment. Let me know how Matt and I did. Again, this is the 2024 Corterra 3.7. Have a great day. See you. Meow, 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 meow.